Let's see. A narrative experience painting story before combat. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get my ass wrecked on this, but let's try balance and see if not that works for us. Egg? E. Oh, illithids. Right. That's a githyanki. Yeah. Mindfold, mind flare tadpoles. <laughs> oh, <ew. laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, you. Ah, blah, blah. And of course, we're seeing this specifically through the POV of an eye, so we can guess what's about to happen. It's gonna go right up on the eye! Oh no! Ah, no! Oh, don't like that! Ew! Yeah, there we go. We're off. We're going. We're going. It's been an hour and a half. That's a sp uh, is that a spaceship? Oh no. Yeah, no, sorry my guy. I think you might be fucked a little bit. Literal Wilhelm scream. Oh, hey, Githyanki. So for those who don't know, the Githyanki are ancestral enemies of the Mind Flayers, and they hunt them and try and kill them whenever they can. Ooh, ow. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe they're coming for the other gith.
Oh. Oh, I, I don't want to get off here. Did we just go to one of the fucking hell planes? I thought we were going to start in Baldur's Gate, but okay. <laughs> Girl, we need to get you better clothes. <sighs> My head. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Let's investigate before we touch it. Skill checks, general tutorial, some skill check, dice roll, like seed or meat, blah blah, skills, okay. Yeah, no, I don't think I made that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Then I am not going to reach towards it, because I have enough mind flare things in my... Oh, alt to highlight. Ah. Something good here, I hope. Give me your stuff. Jade. I'll Dead. take it. Good. Examine. Has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Automatically attack an enemy. Level 8 Mind Flayer. Psionic tyrant slavers and interdimensional voyagers that feed off the brains of thinking creatures. Most belong to a hive mind colony devoted to an elder brain, and all work towards the goal of achieving the grand design, their dream of once more controlling empires that span the multiverse. 19 int? Jesus. Breathe deep and move. Everyone made it out alive. Sphincter. <laughs> I mean, I know it is one. I know it is a sphincter, but. I feel better. Cool. Where are my hit points, actually? There. Okay. Perform. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world <laughs> Camera rotation, QRE Oh, my little mouth button, but yeah, I got that A viscous chair I don't want to sit in it But I'm gonna He I'm sure you are, but I'm busy. Dark vision of the attack goblin. Weak, selfish humanoids. Though they often serve stronger races, they create power and abuse what authority they have. Okay. Rain jar. Uh, die. Fuck off. Ooh, rune slate. The schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews. As much living being as ship. Okay. What else is here? We are here. Yeah, but you can you, you can wait. You can hang on a second. Doesn't do anything. We are here. Yeah. I'll help you in just a second. I just need to 
They're gross, and I hate them. Hey, how are you doing? Humanoid high. Oh, 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 you're. Oh, that's a. Okay, that's a. Hmm. All right. Yeah. You. That. Hmm. Hi. Maybe don't get too close, because he seems to be still moving. Yeah. Yes. You've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. I don't. What am I? Hmm. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Oh! You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Mm. I want to kill you, but I'm also too curious to see what'll happen. So I think you're past the point of saving. Think, tell me what to do. Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. Uh, let's just take a little investigation roll on that one first, shall we? You notice a demon. A swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Mm hmm. Advantage. Cool. <laughs> hey, natural 20! First fun of the evening. <laughs> uh, and it's a brain extraction. Oh. The brain lifts from the skull, oh, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Uh, mm. See, that might be really smart and sensible to do. Uh, that, that might be a very, very clever. But that's not really this character's style, I think. Like, they, this character is a talker. Like, they, they talk people around to their point of view. They wouldn't do, like, s a knife in the back in that way. <laughs> You're free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. But the helm, we are needed. The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. I would like to leave, actually. That's... yes. Us. We are us. Okay, we'll call you us, then. To the helm we go! We are going to the helm. We shall do that. Uh, because if you can get us out of literally hell, that would be good if you could do that. Do I would like you to. Where is the helm exactly? This way? I guess. No, why would you? I. Nature reaches into your mind. It's the. Friend. We will go to the helm now. We are going to the helm. Don't walk into the fire. Okay, the controls are going to take a second to get used to. Yeah, I'm on fire. What? I don't know what to do about that. I really shouldn't be able to tell my guy just to walk into fire like that. That really... <laughs> I feel like there should be like a confirmation. Hey, are you sure you want to do that? 
before you wander into fire. That's our gift friend. They seem to have recovered. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? You are no thrall. Flaketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Hmm. What made you think it was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed. Our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geek. Mind flayers. We're turning into mind flayers? Uh, must be something we can do about that, please? We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing... It will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Okay. Fighting time. Are you going to give me a tutorial on that, or just do I just have to figure it out? Fair enough. Okay. Dissonant whispers your ass. Eh, he took a save. Jerk. Uh, I guess we just bardic inspiration our friend here. A bard has inspired you. New bonuses have been added to your reactions list. End your turn. And then mind flare thing. You go kill that thing, would you? That's about all you can do. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Easy enough. I wasn't anticipating a hard fight. I wish I could control the camera a little bit more freely. I want to look up, like, if dragons are flying overhead or whatever. Cast to put my hands on everything. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Auto save, thank you. Are we gonna have like a little boss fight? No, go through the door, please. Okay. I feel like the highlighting is like. Back. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. The machine made them hostile. Oops. <laughs> oh my. So I guess one of the buttons was like in rage. is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Yep. 
<laughs> you might as well be trapped in demon webs. There's no helping you. <laughs> That's a draw option. Okay. Hmm? Oh, okay. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! More combat help would be nice, you know? The console appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. But then you spy an empty socket. Hmm. Hit it. Smack it! Nothing. The console remains dormant. Then what was the point of the... Empty socket, fits then? That socket must power this thing. Okay. So what fits in the socket? Let's see. How about this room, then? Because that seems to be going to the helm, so what about this way? Oh, hey! Hi! How you doing? A gold key, I'll take that. How many hosts are this key infected? Hey, hey. Made of precious stone and covered in gold. Okay, so that's actually kind of Oh, no. So it's actually worthless this thing. <laughs> what? It's covered in gold. How is it only worth, like, one piece of whatever? Well, okay, that's too heavy to carry around, then. I just wanted the stuff that was inside it. Part of you recognizes it as a bigger component of some machine. Aha! As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Change her. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Well, that's no good. Is this to be our fate? Can we, um... Mind Flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. Okay, so I can't do anything about that. Okay. The console appears dormant. Insert the rune into the socket. Ha-ha! Puzzle solved! The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain? Transform her like that other unfortunate. I mean, she's probably dead either way, but let's just try Arcana on this. I would like this to work. Yay! The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Uh -huh, this uh -huh. device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Uh huh. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Yeah. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. I would like... Th oh, no. Being implanted with the Mind Flare Tadpole is a fate worse than death, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Open. Please. 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 Difficulty two. Oh, don't. Don't be the first one. Okay. Ha! <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. This pod is opening the fuck up. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. And you do it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. That was the most open that pod has ever been in its existence. Hey, how you doing? I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches. 
flashes into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gith with you. You keep dangerous company. <laughs> I, let's hang on. Let's just deal with the fact that we just did psychic stuff. Did you feel that just now? We were in each other's heads. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. They'll have to wait. We need to get off this ship alive first. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Yeah. All right, then. Let's get going. I'm Targa. Shadowheart. One moment. <laughs> that just means you can have funky brain sex? Oh, the gayest sex. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Cool. Uh, what are you? Cleric! Excellent. And do, what do you have? You have Shield of Faith. Good. Guiding Bolt. Good. Resistance. Sacred Flame. Charm Person. Healing Word. Inflict Wounds. Guidance. Blessing of the Trickster. Aha! Okay. So we are a Cleric of the... Cleric of the Trickery Domain. Cool. Interesting. A domain shared by wicked, chaotic, and mischievous deities alike. Those who channel trickery specialize in deception and lose in magic. Indeed. She has fey ancestry because she is what? Elf or half-elf? Hi, half-elf. Okay. Fear of wolves. Shadowheart's scalp prickles with fear when she encounters wolves. If she's within nine meters of a lupine creature, she must wake up with some saving throw or become frightened. Oh, <laughs> good thing I'm not a druid then. Or a uh, ranger. Honestly... Lazale, you don't need to worry. Like, I'm the main character of reality, so things don't progress unless I'm around. Let's see. Cerebral aquariums. You. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Okay. I mean, you're probably the better authority on fucking mind flayers, so. Yeah. Nasty way to go. So we only have a certain number of turns and he's not going to attack us about it. Okay. So basically, we're just dashing, are we? Spend a spell slot and try and frighten that thing. Yes, good. Be scared, you dickhead. Keep going. Or dead, or be dead. Dead is also good. And let's just try not to get into the blast zone of what those two are doing. Can't even catch my breath. Don't waste a step. Okay, dash, 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 dash. Uh oh. Hurry before they strike. Yeah. Um. Increase armor class. Nah, I don't think we need that with the imps. We're probably good. You go smack those around, would you? Why 
my path be true? Blood comes easy these days. do and you will be attacked if you move around that thing right now so let's not do that how's that thing doing on health ooh not so good we could just wait until the, he kills the mind flayer for us and then warp out but who knows how well that's going to go for us We'll let the Gith Yankee do the connecting to the thing. Oh, I can still dash even though I... Oh, okay. Well, we have plenty of turns, so we're probably good. You, uh, you go, just, just you just, you just, you just hang around. Uh, you just spend your movement on something and mess about. And now you, Miss uh, Gith, could you go do that? The Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. Hey, buddy. Well, okay. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Who cast Featherfall exactly? Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. And a better outfit. A death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Yes, I do. So, we've escaped the hells on an autoloid and crashed somewhere back in the material plane. We need to explore the area. Who's we? There's just me here. Huh, inspiration. What? Okay. Eh. 
Let's see. When a character performs an action that's true to their background, they gain experience points and receive inspiration. Inspiration may be spent to reroll an ability check. If you can have a maximum of four, if you're at your maximum, completing background goals only grants experience. Okay. Let's see. Any yeah, stuff lying around here? No? Okay. Uh, healing word? Ah, oh, shit. My character would. I'm a charlatan. I'm a. I'm a thief. I'm a. Just take a little shot at it. What are you doing? <laughs> Checking if you were alive is what I was doing. I'm alive. Yes. Thank you for the concern. And speaking of, how are we alive? <laughs> Perhaps it was some dramatically timed divine intervention? The divine tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. So, I suppose it's not impossible. What happened to our gith friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Hmm. Do you have any? Huh. We should look for her. She might be injured or worse. Nah, that's not really what my character would say. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We? You want to stay together? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, sure. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. I'm a bard. I need someone to tank for me. <laughs> Actually, what we need is like a tiara or some kind of fancy hat thing. Recipe unlocked. Suspension of Murgrass. Er? See the inventories of all party members in the party view. Oh, cool. And I should level up also, probably. But what exactly? Suspension of thing? Potion of healing. Touching little of the substance to the lift, you begin to hear muffled pulses of sound, dwarfs of thoughts belonging to those nearby. Okay. Well, hmm. deal with that later. Level up! Okay. Let's grab ourselves some more magic. I'll get fairy fire anyway, so I want... I, yeah, I think I want sleep, actually. I think we'll take sleep. Um, let's see. Replace spell. I mean, what would I change it for? What's next? Let's see. Channel Divinity. Excellent. Turn on dead. Invoke duplicity. Cool. Yeah, I'd like to be able to debuff a bit. Okay. So far, so good. Now, intellect devourer over there. Is that our friend? Well, air quotes around friend, right. but what now? Shanties for the bitch queen. Okay, hang on. I need to see this. And we all row with a spray upon a necks, and we all row with a spray upon. 
And we all row with the sea beneath our feet, and the bitch queen stays the storm. Seems like it will be rolling. Wave mother, wave mother, lashers to the prow. We ask to sail your skirt, if you will. <laughs> wave mother, weather, sink us, if you will. Our skull, your skulls are yours with brine and sand to fill. Oh, this, these are sex songs. Souls away and anchor still, the wind move, move, the well, the bitch queen's will. We'll gladly wait years and days till the bitch queen brings the waves. Hey ho, she told us so. Hey ho, she told us so. Yeah, no, that, those are sailor songs. Perfumed letter. Sigh, I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again and keep on saying until we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so is staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late, Anna. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. I'll, um... I'll, if I meet her, I'll, I'll tell her, uh, that you're not coming. I should probably have, uh, Shadowheart carry some of this stuff eventually. More of those wretched things. Twenty-six gold. Yeah, now, now they're hostile. Right. All right. Time to skulk about. My face protects me. No, I don't want you to steal from her. Jesus. A bit of caution never hurt. What path lies before me? Free for the taking. Yeah, but I want you to attack it, though. Thank you. Better stay back. And strike could be lethal. Okay, so that's all I've got here. Let's get you some inspiration, and then you can go into the fray. Or maybe we're both in the fray. Okay. There we go. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Okay, time to use some healing potions. Do I not have like a quick bar for items? Oh, there, actually. Abducted nobleman. You'll have money. Yeah. And a silver locket for Papa. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> You step in a surface that could become dangerous if affected by elements like fire or lightning. Most surfaces like this can be washed away with water. That would be this stuff. The mysterious liquid. Okay. Wait, are they spent? They're not spent on it, right? A leather helmet, extra for dexterity saving throws. No, no, they're not spent. Good. Can I sort this somehow? Yes, I can. Okay. Sort by type, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh. Shadowheart, could you carry? <laughs> I'm I'm walking around with a small arsenal here. <laughs> What do we have here? Is this a teleport point? Okay. Oh ho. Can get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. Difficult. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think. Let's let's put some guidance on that, shall we? 
I can't uh, bardic inspiration myself. Aw. Give it a shot. Oh. 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 <laughs> Let's just uh Maybe, maybe we want to be careful about... See? That was a little close. What's happening? Time has dampened this spear's sheen, but the center glows a faint blue. The magic it exudes feel old, terrible, and divine. The spear was given to its previous owner for his unerring loyalty, even after death. I think I might want the key. Uh, now I think I might want to leave. Something the matter. Oh, we can talk? Cool. What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Okay. We should get to know each other a little more? Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Ah, trickery domain. Okay. We have to rely on each other. Easier if we knew each other as well. Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. You're deflecting. Are you hiding something from me? Maybe I'd like to get to know you better. Oh, do we want to flirt or do we want to be incisive? <laughs> Actually, I think we'd be smart not to press it just yet. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Okay. My faith will guide me. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's just... Let's just... I, I was getting vibes in there. Have to keep pushing. No one back home will ever believe this. Again, I wish I could... There we go. Okay. Now I can see around a little bit. Like, there's such nice environments out here. I want to look at them. We'll go, we'll go back to that tomb later when we have, like, maybe more than two people. Just because, you know, the door had a DC of 20. I feel like that's a signal, right? A signal that says, hey, maybe think twice. It's a nearly dead mind flayer. There, a mind flayer. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous equal. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. Hey, asshole. It end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. No, I should be pretty pissed at that thing. I think it's fucking with me. Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Hey, Shadowheart? Uh, concentrate on it. I don't have a lot of intelligence, but I'll give it a shot. Please give me guidance for this. <laughs> just want to not get... Uh-oh! Well, it's not a critical failure. Oh, well. You try to break through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. I wonder what would happen if I had critical failed that. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. 
Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Let's get it dead, shall we? Ooh! Okay, I thought you were gonna stab it. Okay. <laughs> Monster. Death is too good for it. I remember you from the character creation screen. Hello. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Kill it yourself. You look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Uh, dexterity, I think, will roll dexterity on this one. Ah, so close to the natural 20. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? You have it backwards. They snatched me up, too. I'm not an idiot. I saw... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <sighs> what was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It's connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Glad to see we're all caught up now. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Your your voice is too horny, my friend. Good lord. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately. They'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... Ha! <laughs> Of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it? We need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Hmm. Well... Odds are better together, I guess. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Nido. Trust no one. Let's level you up, vampire boy. And he's a rogue, of course. So, he has cunning actions. <sighs> cool, and, but not much else on him. But he's a level 2 rogue, high elf. Okay, let's have a look at you otherwise. He's another charlatan! <laughs> Birds of a feather. A scared boar. I didn't have... I had to speak with animals, right? Yeah. I should speak up. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You are right there? Away! Away! Calm down. I won't hurt you. You're all the same. Too many of my kind died because of your spears. But not me! Aw. Didn't want to talk. <laughs> Aw. I can talk with animals! That's too much fun. Don't waste a step.
So the overgrown ruins are an option, or we can go out past where those goblins were. Rather not go past the goblins right now. I'm still not sure about whether I should challenge, like, to try the dungeon. Because it feels like, again, like that DZ20 lock kind of has me worried. <laughs> Oh. Oh. That uh that seems active. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. I'd s yeah. Maybe maybe I don't want to touch that right now. At least not without, you know, save scumming a little bit. Approach the sigil on the stone. Yeah. <laughs> Do I actually take damage from that? Oh. A hand? Anyone? Uh. This is very... You remember that scene in Majora's Mask with the guy who's in the toilet? Guidance, please. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Please be a fighter or something. Purple? <laughs> Where's the option to just high five him? <laughs> oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. At introductions? At magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. You don't trust this man. Draw your weapon! No. Never mind the... I was, yes. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. <sighs> Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? Yeah, I, I know. It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? Oh, I like his animation. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric's skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. No. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites? I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? So you're definitely a sorcerer. Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Well, aren't you a smooth talker? He's definitely a sorcerer. Not first in magic, are you? Uh, yeah, I am. Yes, I am. What do you mean? What do you mean I'm not? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm a bard. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. No matter to worry the unlettered over. If you meet any elder wizards... Oh, he is a wizard? Oh, no. 
There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. So he is a wizard. Really? And you shall find me. Indeed he is. Good lord. What do you mean not versed in magic? Fuck off. <laughs> So, so people in chat are saying that he's hated, apparently, and I can see why. Like, this guy, like, oh, oh boy. <laughs> I can see why someone will be like, hey, fuck you, buddy. I can absolutely see why. And he's an evocation wizard, too. Jesus, okay. Well, hey, it does mean I can cast Fireball without hurting people. So, sub, oh, I, or I can change, I could make him, oh. I could make him a necromancer. <laughs> Illusion, transportation, conjuration, divination, enchantment. But since evocation is the default, I'll go with that for him. Also kind of seems to, like, with a personality like his, it would be either evocation or illusion, I think. But I do like having a... I want to have a fireball wizard available, you know? Let's see. Hmm. Magic, yeah, you have to have magic missile. That is, that's mandatory. I'm sorry. You have to have that. For now, let's get you some burning hands as well. So you've got grease. Okay. Thunder wave, sleep. You don't need sleep. I do the sleeping around here. With as many people as I can. <clears throat> Give me one real situation that can't be solved with fireball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, like, well, actually, if you cast fireball on the thing that's burning... It will burn down so completely that you that's the problem is solved. That they, like it's no longer burning because all the fuel is consumed. You're gonna do evocation, you're gonna do it right. Got a long road ahead. Moving ahead. Okay. Let's see, supply pack, I will take that. Oh, that's a person in a cage. Oh, that's Liz Lizzo. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Okay, let's, um... Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move. Yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Holy hells. Under elf. Play time, my mister. What? I can't. I only have fucking intimidation? I mean, what about persuasion? What about, hey, don't kill us, actually? What about, hey, maybe. Okay. I guess being a drow has its disadvantage here, huh? Aha! Excellent. And guidance. That's where friends works. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> I mean, I still win, but, you know. Demaze. Come, I miss her. Now. Enough gawking. Get me down. Say please. Never. <laughs> Never, huh? All right. Let's Observe see. Observe and listen. You'll hear Enough goblins you before you see them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just how do I do that exactly? Can I shoot the cage? Then these things have stayed interesting. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Say please. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. A simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. That's the gif. <clears throat> and what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. 
Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gate tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. Fine. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. How about you wait at my camp? We can speak there. I mean, shit, but I need a fighter. Like, I need a frontliner. I have a little bit too many backliners here. Uh. But okay. Very well. But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. Or I could I do the talking. Camp. Do not keep me waiting. I could do the talking, and then you could, like, not immediately threaten to kill everyone you see. How about that? How about we do that that way? It's like, instead of intimidating and tormenting these people. Right, but then I'll need... I ha Right, I have the roadside cliffs. So I can get back here, right? Let's try that. Let's see what happens at camp. General tutorial. At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members' advanced relationship with their companions, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Okay. Okay. What do we have here? Huh. Old tower. I guess I could sleep inside those walls. Is this a thing of, like, you build up your camp to be better and better over the course of the game? That would be cool. A rickety chair. Invasion plans for the sword. Hang on, what? This map of the sword course sprawls from the deep forest of Tethir to the frigid spine of the world. It's topography worn by ancient ink and concentrate between... Yeah, no, but why... Wh who, who has invasion plans for the sword coast? Why do they have invasion plans for the sword coast? Traveler's chest. Would that be our storage... Uh. Wow. Okay. What the hell? Whose stuff is this? Is this all mine? Where did that come from? Oh, deluxe bo- Oh, right, shit. That's true. I did, actually. I did buy the deluxe edition. <laughs> okay, uh... Okay. Nothing special about it. It just looks a little fancy. I mean, I'll take that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so. Not, no, no, no. Not where. No. Oh my god, okay. Remove from where. Is there some way to select multiple items at the same time? I think shift click should add to where's without menu. Oh, really? Doesn't seem to. I what? Oh, it's ah, I see. Double click to equip, but then you can So then I guess you can control click and then you can ah, then you can manage multiple things at a time. Good. It's it doesn't match my look. Okay, good lord. That was a bunch of things. Nothing overpowered, thankfully. <sighs> right. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Laisel is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. <laughs> tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. What, despite the being obviously a vampire thing? Because it's pretty odd. Like, your teeth are like... I mean, every time you talk. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, I am a bard, and I have, like, most of the rogue skills. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please just stay here. I... Guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. 
And then we'll take the warrior. I mean, I'm kind of, I kind of don't want to take the fighter with us to talk to the people in that camp because I feel like, but I do want a fighter. I want someone to frontline for me and the cleric like maybe isn't enough. Okay. Chatter already, Tusky. <laughs> you look so unusual. Like, let's not, let's not, let's, that's a little insensitive. Let's not do that. Do you know much about mind flayers? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. <laughs> if you don't like Lazelle, you can get a different frontline character, but she's past Null Country and I. I listen, I never said I don't like her. I just think she's an asshole. <laughs> but that's cool. Come along. It's done. Like, like, she's a dick. Like, <laughs> but that rules. That's fun. Something's on my mind. Like, is Yankee joining our company? Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Let's see. Tell me a bit more about yourself. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. You're level two, dude. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. Oh, I see why people don't like you. <laughs> I like you, though. You're a dickhead. I like you. Oh, don't stop there. You must have many stories to tell about your adventures as an archmage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Try peering into his mind. If he won't open up, you'll sneak in. Ah, let's not do that. That's that's a little violating. Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. Hmm. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? I don't know. We've literally gone from the from a different plane to this one. That seems like some distance. You must have thought about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. Hmm. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. No reason for us not to stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Hmm. Seems personal. I won't pry if it's something you don't want to talk about. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. How am I holding up in your estimations? You're not the kind of company I'd keep willingly. But all things considered, you'll do. Oh, don't flirt with me. And I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. Perhaps I'll be able to return the favor at some point. Mm hmm. Okay, cool. So, how do I leave? There, okay. Uh, I don't think we really need to rest yet. Okay, it just puts us right back where we were. Good. Excellent. Lovely. Oh, my hand slipped. Oh. Twisting vines. Oh, it's like a... Okay, so ungroup. I'm the best sneaker. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! 
Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. What? <laughs> that ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. Oh, we're we're putting all of the advantages on this. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! Well. It would have been quicker to kill them. Yeah. But now we don't have to get arrows shot into us. Which is nice. I like to not have arrows it's shot into me. Ah, there we go. Oh, this is what you need Featherfall for. <laughs> right. Hello, little door. Everything all right out there? Hmm. Bard performance. Yes. It oh, we have to. We have to. Obviously, we have to. Not that it's a difficult role, but you know. You sound a bit shaken, Mosh. Hang on while I find the key. Charlatan. Yes, excellent. I gained inspiration. Yay. In the hells? You're dead. Oh, what? Why? Come on, I just fooled you a little bit. Uh, honestly. I'm taking you out non-lethally whether you like it or not. Right? Yes, good. Oh, he... Oh, he brought friends. Oh, well, there you go. Ha! Right. Well, there goes the non-lethal option. No mercy. Really? I'm attacking him from behind? And it doesn't... Okay. Yeah, KO to you, buddy. Let's see what this does. We weren't here! Excruciatingly precise lines bring this portrait's undead subject to, to life. Despite his empty eye sockets, you can almost swear that his gaze follows you judgmentally. Yeah, but it's a nice... Yeah, he looks like a nice lich to me. Oh, there's a lot of them, actually. <laughs> Are they just gonna bash the door? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to poison the door. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. You do that, dude. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's a fun little AI moment. Well, I don't want to go to camp, though. I don't want to go to camp. I just want to wait for them to spend all their resources. <laughs> Oh! Oh, they can open it. Ah, well. Step by step. Torment. Yeah, sorry, I, I'm, I'm kind of going to need you to not be alive. Ow! And now they block the door. Damn it. Okay. How much health does she have left? Five. Let's try and take her out. Yeah, sorry. I really didn't want to have to kill you all. 
I really want you to know, I tried. I tried very hard to be non-lethal about this. <sighs> this is a little sad. Yeah. Let's just do that, shall we? Because <laughs> now they have to go and open the door again, which gives us a little time to recover. <laughs> what the hell? Well, that's the only healer. Okay, so how do I... Oh, you throw the potion at... Oh, okay. Well, all right. Twenty-five. Okay, so there's a big risk of missing. Oh, come on. <sighs> Hello. Disadvantage on your ranged attacks. And get dazed, loser. Oh, what? Really? Can't really get there, so. Time to press ahead. Hey, you! you. Know me your face and shit it out. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, that's outside of my range. Vicious mockery it is. Death becomes you. That's not a mockery, that's a threat. It's not the same thing. Ah. <sighs> I really didn't want to kill you, but... Journey through the jungle. How long is this? Okay, not long. The sun had just fallen below the horizon when I first heard its call. A thousand reed pipes at once, whistling a single, beautiful, terrible song. Ooh, Talonk, said Jaw, it's coming. Jaw dropped her pack and scurried out the nearest bitter. With a bit more effort, I climbed a tree of my own, and the two of us surveyed the grassy ground beneath. Awoo! There it was again, above and beneath and all around, so close my skull vibrated from the sound. The ferns and foliage under me rippled and swayed. Jaw held the finger to her lips to demand my silence, and in one motion it snatched her. A vine? A tentacle? It hardly mattered. The hunter had found its prey. Jaw's screams swelled and then faded as Ulu Thalong dragged her away. I leapt down to give chase, but the creature left no mark behind. The grasses were untrampled, the sharp rubs unbroken. I had only the memory of that harrowing call to guide me. Uh, honestly, why must it always end in violence? Mortal you, eyewitness account of the ball spawn crisis. Oh, hello. The guild seal on the inside of the cover belongs to a printmaking collective in Baldur's Gate. Of course I remember. I knew the second that girl was walking that she'd be trouble. A little thief always in everyone's business, and that ward of Gorion went right along with her. No surprise the wicked god's blood was running in their veins. Let's see. Saravok and his lot are always the first ones that come to mind. You know what? This all started with a bit of iron and Nashkel. Everyone thought their weapons would rot out of their hands. Back then, I thought the problem was bad trade. Never took the man for a son of Baal. You dare speak that name to me? My mistress was turned to ash fighting those forsaken wretches. I curse Baal. I curse Ren Renicus, and I curse you. Hostile vampire. Slums. <laughs> the five tore tethered to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more Baal spawns showing up would fix the war that the pact of them started. Then again, they were all inclined to killing each other, eh? Good riddance. Here's hoping that every last one of them has been wiped off the face of Faerun. Sardush Merchant Return. I'm not authorized to be talking about any murder with someone like you. Take it up with the Sea Tower if you want to argue. But honestly, who cares if a ball spawn got it stuck to them? Their father's the killing type, after all. Several hundred more interviews follow, most of them terse. Aw, reference to Baldur's Gate. Not bad. I've had better days. And worse ones. No more prayers. Only silence. It's been lonesome to be a forgotten god. Who are those prayers for? Normally, the patron god is obvious. Not here. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. In, her, in life, her service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her. 
her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed she the ultimate offering, her emptied mind. And when she died, she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment. She waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colorless gusts, but no hand materialized in her hand, no voice whispered instructions in her ear, no guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air coming and going, and still the goddess did not come for her devotee. Kelimvor pity pitied her, as much as the Lord of the Dead is able, but could not intervene. This cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn, that of not forgetting, but being forgotten. See. You do not recognize the language on the plaque. See. See. Fine dust coats the pages of this weathered book beneath the bone white powder. Hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Groby and Tipple, Ilmater, drowning. Avain Arkansas, Og, my internal rot. Dever Stout, Saluna, fever. I guess those are the things that claimed them? Things that caused their deaths? Aha! What was that? I don't like the sound of that noise, but I bet it opened the door. Mildly worried. Mildly concerned. I think this is a good place to save the game. And probably, given how long we've been going, this is probably for those who are watching on YouTube, also a good place to call the episode to a close. So, if you've enjoyed hanging out in the world of Baldur's Gate 3 with me, you can hit the like, comment, and or subscribe buttons down below. If you're watching on Twitch, you get more right the hell now. But if you want more right now on YouTube, well, become a channel member. There's an outside chance that a few more extra episodes might be available for you. Uh, you can also subscribe on Twitch to get access to the VODs of these streams where this stuff is happening, including stuff that doesn't get recorded in the episodes on YouTube, but you don't have to do either of those things. I'm just happy that you've watched this far. Thanks for watching. Remember to be kind to one another. Have solidarity with those who are worse off than yourselves, and may the tides of history wash gently over us all.